Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to discuss cookware and uh, everyone that knows me knows I'm into cooking and uh, one of the things uh, now everyone has probably seen these in the store where you get three uh, non-stick cookware in a package uh, this is uh, trauma uh, Tramontina, okay, that's a very popular brand. Uh, I think we bought this for $30 or less for th the three. And now I'm going to show you the difference. Now, I bought this from our Sam's Club. It's members mark. I didn't want it to uh, struggle with the packaging to show you, but I bought an 8 inch pan and a 10 inch pan. The 8 inch pan was $13.67. The 10 inch was $13.98. They have a special of $1 off, so usually it goes for $14.98. Now, I already had bought a, a set, I've been using them and everything. I was so impressed, I went out and bought another set. So for just these two items, it's almost the same price as three of these. Now, one of the things I uh, look at is the it's a thicker aluminum and one of the problems that you have with these thin aluminum pans is warping and that happens when you're doing like cooking on the stovetop and you add you have this heated up a lot and you add a cold liquid to it what happens is that puts a stress on the metal and it will warp. And the same thing, say you, you're in a hurry, you're using this and you're doing multiple dishes and you go over the sink, rinse it off. Well, guess what? The cold water will cause it to warp. Now, I haven't used this set too much. I have another set. And I've thrown away sets because they don't last long. The coating isn't the greatest coating in the world. Now, these are the ones from Sam's Club, the member is smart, is considered restaurant quality. Uh, I'm going to show you with this pan here, landed on a flat surface, and you can see. I, I, I think you have to get down low, but it rocks. Okay, it's not sitting flat. Now, that will get worse over time using the pan, adding cold liquids to it. This is the member's mark, heavier pan, and there's no rocking. There's no rocking of the pan when I touch it. So it's sitting perfectly flat. Another thing is, I'll show you by weight. I'm going to show you by weight. Now I have it set up for grams because it's easier for display than ounces or, um, or pounds. So I wouldn't weigh it in pounds. But the member's mark pan, the 8 inch, weighs 710 grams. The 8 uh, inch brand uh, is 360 grams. That is almost, this is almost double the weight. Now, some people may like a lighter pan because uh, when they load it up, it's easier to work with because of the weight. They have issues with weight. I've seen people complain about 
some of the uh, cleavers that I have, uh, they're very heavy uh, duty cleavers. They weigh a lot. And uh, I've, said, I've seen reviews on some of the cleavers that I bought. People don't like them because they weigh too much. Now this is the 10 inch pan. The 10 inch pan is 1,035, well it goes back and forth, 34 grams, 1,034. And this is the 10 inch uh, Tramatina. And that is 494 grams. So this is half, uh, more than half, the weight off. Now, I didn't buy the 12 inch. I'm going to be buying the 12 inch. I'm waiting to see if they have a special uh, on it before I buy it. It's like, uh, I think, $24 or something like that for the, for the 12 inch. But another thing I like about this, now I do uh, crepes and I like having a nonstick pan. It's, I have done it in my stainless steel pans, but uh, I happen to like the way it slides off of the nonstick. And one, one of the things I, I like is that the heat, because it is thicker, it retains the heat longer than the uh, thin ones. So it's a very good buy. Uh, I recommend uh, this product. And uh, I don't get it paid for it, but I just want to bring it to people's attention yeah, you got to be spending more money for a three. You probably got to end up spending uh, uh, probably close to fifty dollars for for three. But you're getting a better quality product than these thin ones, which will warp. And what I find aggravating is like if I'm over on the stove, and especially if it has a bad warp to it and I go to cook an egg. And the egg is on one side of the pan, okay, because of the warping. I don't wanna to have to stand there and balance out the egg on the pan, okay? Sometimes I'm doing other things. I crack the eggs, put it in there, and I move on to something else. But when you have a warped pan, Okay, especially like if you're doing a sunny side uh, up egg, uh, that's the one, one of the problems. So I highly recommend this, uh, very good. You can nest it together, just like you can uh, nest the, together these pans. Uh, when these are uh, due, I uh, end up throwing them away. So I, I'm sure that now, even the the coating on these feels uh, different uh, than the coating on this. It, it, it has a different feel to it. So uh, I, I recommend uh, recommend this product. One of the things about these pans also is that they're oven safe. With the grip on, it's good for up to 400 degrees. With it off it's good for up to 500 degrees. Now, the, the problem is, I think, is taking off this grip, uh, I think will be uh, very hard to do. Uh, I don't plan on using these for, for the oven. If I do oven, uh, if I know I'm gonna put it in the oven, I'm using my stainless steel uh, cookware. Uh, that's all I got for you. Have a good day, everyone.